right, welcome back, everybody. And now it's time for a grassroots citizen panel. And joining me in the studio from the Pacific Justice Institute is Brad Dacus. Brad, good to see you. Good to be on the program. A, a quick a quick uh, description to our viewers not familiar with PJI. Oh, sure. Pacific Justice Institute is a nonprofit 501c3 legal defense organization. And uh, we do all our work without charge to hundreds of uh, volunteer affiliate attorneys across the United States uh, defending religious freedom and parents' rights and other basic civil liberties. And people, if they want more information, can go to our Facebook, uh, which is Pacific Justice Institute. And I'd love for them to friend me on Facebook. All right. Seated next to Brad is uh, Democratic political analyst Stephen Kavanaugh. Stephen, good to see you. Good to see you, Rick. And from Washington, D.C., is Justin Danoff. Justin is with the National Center for Public Policy Research. Justin, welcome to the show. It's always a pleasure, Rick. All right, well, let's start with, there's this big thing, if you haven't heard, going on in the border. We got a lot of border agents right. uh, changing diapers. In fact, the Department of Homeland Security has called on Americans to send in 45,000 gently used underwear, whatever that means. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi may or may not be getting a pair of gently used underwear, but she has announced that she is going to the border in Texas to meet with detained children. Um, this is, what's your take on all this? First of all, she is looking for political, no, you know, political, political capital, if you will, a way, a way to exploit the whole situation. Oh, obviously, obviously. She's playing the, you know, the compassionate card and the compassionate liberal card, I believe. She's down there to, uh, you know, to, to show that, you know, she cares and she's of the party that cares. Uh, but the real thing, I think it's actually a mistake because it's only going to enunciate that she's of the party who I believe uh, is responsible for the, par for the policies and... 2008 that that uh, that resulted in more of these these young people coming from other countries. But do you think Americans in the middle or left of center care? Uh, I think when they see the the huge numbers and the burden that, it, that is going to be placed upon Americans in the end, as well as was what's going to be placed upon these these children. Uh, who have this this built-in incentive to come to America without parents, uh, which is a, a, a terrible infringement upon them and their rights and liberties and, and, and welfare. I think that, I think Americans will look at it from both angles, practically as well as compassionately, as a terrible situation that is not being handled Stephen, correctly. Stephen Kavanaugh, as you know, the White House has now uh, lost 13 unanimous decisions by the Supreme Court. 13 unanimous, nine nothing. Um, White House spokesman told the White House spokesman recently told Chuck Todd of NBC that President Obama is considering he might just go ahead and take executive action on Ill illegal immigration. That would be a wrong thing to do, would it not? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that this is in the jurisdiction of Congress. Now, uh, with respect to my friend Brad's comment about Nancy Pelosi, uh, she very well may be trying to score political points so she, in her next re-election, can Not win Nancy by... Nancy Pelosi. So, so she can win by 80% instead of 70% in her very safe district of San Francisco. Yeah, okay, it's so I think it's, she probably does actually it, it's care. It's safe, but she is but, as political <laughs> as a... But, uh, but as, it, is. as far as, you know, the onus being on, on her in part, and, and the law as it is, and the unintended consequences of that law in 2008, she was in charge of the Congress at that time. I think she does bear some responsibility for the way that language is written. But now, the onus is on Congress now to fix it. And it's a tricky problem to fix because it involves an influx of a lot of people who are fleeing a very violent, dangerous situation in Central America that we didn't really foresee. So it's, it's tough. Uh, let's go to Justin Danoff in Washington, D.C. What's your take on all this, Justin? Well, it's tough to say that we didn't foresee a porous border. We've had a porous border uh, with Mexico for years. Um, and it took the administration a long time, but President Obama recently did come out and say, stop coming. Do not send your children here. Um, and I think Nancy Pelosi shouldn't go to the border. She's sending, she's contradicting the president's most recent message to the children not to come, to the parents not to send the children. I think she should go past the border to what President Obama was talking about. The children who die trying to come that don't make it. The children who are smuggled. The children that are sold into sex trade. Um, that's what the president was talking about. Not all the children make it. So maybe Nancy Pelosi should go visit the FBI and see what happens to children who get sold into sex trade. 
She should visit the shallow graves of the children who don't even make it to the border. That's what she should do. Not to mention, if Nancy Pelosi is going to head down there with her arms open, the children might just turn around and run back where they came from. <laughs> well, 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 listen, th this in part is an issue that Congress has got to deal with. And I do think um, it is a valid thing for Nancy Pelosi, who is the House Minority Leader, to be able to evaluate the situation and give input on whether or not we bring in FEMA, how we deal with this going forward. Yeah, I, can, can I interject real quick? Yeah, Let me ahead. ask you, Stephen. Uh, there was an article today that, uh, sh that where one of the property owners in the Southern Texas border said, I wish she would come visit me. I have gang members, MS-13 gang members, hanging out in my property. i got a set of dogs here that chases these guys up the tree. Mm. Uh, I've got people showing up with a disease. Um, if she really was showing integrity on this issue, I believe she would do what Justin Danoff uh, indicated, and I also believe she would show up at those property owners in Texas, not just where we can all feel good and wrap our arms around. Well, yeah. I, I don't agree that this is an all, we can all feel good, and either she visits all of the harmed parties or she doesn't care. I think it's, it's reasonable for her to go straight to where the problem is, right now most immediately and that is the influx of overflowing people that we have to process and, and make sure they either get sent back aligned with relatives that we ID as people who aren't human traffickers in part because of the way that 2008 law was written. It, it's very complicated. I think it's appropriate for her to visit. Brad, you want to say something? Yes. Uh, yeah, the 2008 law, it's, it it's obviously creates an incentive for this to, to happen. You, you, it's, it's a natural supply and demand. You create an incentive. You make it easy for them to come to this country and stay here. Uh, Nancy Pelosi should be in Washington, D.C. working on legislative reform. I agree that Congress needs to work on that. But immediately, the president uh, could take immediate ex to the executive powers that he legitimately has uh, to, to uh, seal the border and in so doing, eliminate the demand for these kids uh, to come and have their lives risked in the first place. As long as we have our border open, as long as they can come here, their blood is on our hands and on the administration's hands on for not protecting it. May I challenge you on this? Sure. How do you propose we actually seal the border, which is very, very long? We have a whole lot of troops, uh, uh, federal agents down there. How do you right. propose we do that? Well, it's not like it's... Uh, Steve, well, it, let me it's, ask you a question before Brad jumps okay, in. Okay, go ahead. How does every country in the world seal their border? Well, most don't. Oh, I see. We, we, there, yeah. there isn't any country in the world that has the same sort of magnetism that the so, United States so, has. So America is bigger is what you're saying. No, no the, Amer the magnetism that you're talking about. So, so we have such a pool. That's why we're a different yeah. story. Well, there's a lot of countries that, that deal with this in a very difficult way, but it's usually in the context of refugees, which is perhaps yeah. what we're seeing. All right, listen, we have to take a quick break right there. and we come back, we'll continue with our grassroots and panel.